hello everyone and welcome on back to the channel. Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening. Welcome on back. Thank you so much for being here. Let's go ahead and listen to some more Budgie. Let's just move on into really the second track of the album, Never Turn Your Back on a Friend, released 1973. We've listened to Bread Fan, we've listened to Parents. Let's just let's just take it from the top, kind of like just below the top, and work our way back down uh, with this track. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please! Please don't go. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. We'll talk about it after. Here we go. side of things. the change from the drums Ooh, interesting that's like a classic blues kind of line like that vocal melody there into this though.
Hey, I have a question. I have a question about this. Okay, so actually, I'll, I'll save my question for for just like a minute or so. Um, to me, this is a track that exemplifies the the connection. Of course, the obvious growth out of blues into rock into metal. This, to me, though, is one of those those tracks that so well you can see all of the the sinew, all of the the connective tissues between blues and where it would go later on with metal. Like you can hear it in here, the guitar playing. Uh, in some ways, the rhythm are just so bluesy, uh, especially in the middle. Some of those lines of melody that were played in there, like, I don't know what songs, but you could hear those being sung in older blues songs. Um, there, was a, there was a vocal, not a vocal line, but a guitar line in there. And he's, he's playing. And it reminded me of like some old, like, I don't know, like the, I can't remember exactly what it was what the melody was, but it was like an old blues or something like it. And the singer sung that line like that. And I was like, huh. And then that would continuously happen, which I just think this is so cool to hear how obviously the genres, of course, drew from one to another. But I think it's cool to hear how much influence it is, how connected it is in this particular track. OK, um, I have a question, especially the middle solo section. Was anyone else? <laughs> Did, did anyone else get like a comparison between that and another man of which I'm about to make to name? I'm just going to say it. Did it remind you of Hawkwind a little bit? Is that just me? Did, am I the only one getting like a little bit of Hawkwind in there? Like it could have easily gone into a more space rockish kind of, kind of sound. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And then at several times the, um, the rhythm of everything would change around the melody, which I thought was kind of cool. The drums would slow down a little bit. You had that bigger, like I said, mountain crushing riff that would override for it just a little bit and then it'd back off. A lot of empty space was given before the guitar would enter back in with some sweet bluesy lines. It was a lot of little changes that were going on, which, which I thought made it felt kind of fresh and didn't make it seem too long, even within its five minute, 30 second runtime. Like it's not too long in the first place, but with what was being done in there, I thought the time was, uh, nicely used baby please don't go oh by the way and then shelly um the singing and the production on this was really interesting because every line would be in a different place the first line would be on the left then on the right and then center and it would kind of bounce back and forth between that not so much that i would i would even mention like psychedelic like it wasn't like really all over the place it was kind of tightly tightly compacted right in here but still you definitely got different feelings on different sides Baby, please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go down to New Orleans. You know I love you so, baby. Please don't go. Why don't you mind that guard? Why don't you mind that guard? Why don't you mind that guard at the county farm? You had your shackles on. Pl baby, please don't go. Gonna be a doll. Be a doll. <gasps> what was that? Oh, that scared me. <laughs> that was genuine fear. You just heard in my voice. That was genuine fear. Because I have to use YouTube for this this album because it's not on Spotify. And I guess I left it open and, and an ad just started playing. Oh. <laughs> I just said, what was that? <laughs> Gonna be a doll to get your way down here to make you walk along. Baby, please don't go. All right, well, baby, please don't go. Um, I do see here that this is apparently a, a cover in some ways of another song, Baby Please Don't Go, uh, which was popularized by Big Joe Williams in 1935. Anyways. <laughs> oh, man. Let me know what you guys thought of the track in the comments down below. You can follow me over on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. Thank you, as always, for being here. Did that scare you the same way it scared me? Because it got me. It, it got me. Anyways. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you all later. Bye.